Welcome to the demonstration on how to configure Manage Identities in the Azure portal. In this video, we will learn how to create multiple resources in the Azure portal and link them. First, we will create a resource group. Then, we will create and deploy a user assigned Manage Identity, a virtual machine and a storage account to the same resource group in any order. Finally, we will link these resources as required. First, we will create the resource group. Log in to the Azure portal. Click Create a Resource. Find Resource Group. Click Create under Resource Group. Specify the subscription and resource group name. To add more details, click Next Tags. We are not adding any details in this video, so click Review plus Create. You receive a confirmation when validation completes. Now, create the other resources in any order in this resource group. For this video, we will first create the user assigned manage identity followed by virtual machine and storage account. Navigate to the home page. Click create a resource. Find user assigned manage identity. Click create user assigned manage identity. Provide the resource group details to add this resource to our resource group. To add more details, click Next to navigate to the other tabs. For this video, we are not adding any detail. Click Review plus Create. Click Create to create user assigned manage identity and deploy it to our resource group. Note that this user assigned manage identity can only be used after it is linked to the virtual machine and storage account, which we will now create. Also note that you do not need to create a user assigned manage identity if you only need to use a system assigned manage identity. Follow these steps to create the virtual machine and the storage account. Let's see how. Navigate to the home page. Follow the process used to create the user assigned manage identity to create a virtual machine. While creating the virtual machine, Download private key and create a resource in the Generate New Key Pair dialog. When the virtual machine is created and deployed to our resource group, click Go to Resource to navigate to the virtual machine page. In the left pane, click Identity under Security. To use the System Assigned Manage Identity, click the toggle under the System Assigned tab to update the status to On and save the setting. Click Yes. To confirm the System Assigned Manage Identity enablement. System Assigned Manage Identity successfully created and the virtual machine registered with Microsoft Intra ID. This System Assigned Manage Identity is unique to the virtual machine and linked to it. If the virtual machine is deleted, the System Assigned Manage Identity is also deleted. Note that you can skip this step in case you are not planning to use the System Assigned Manage Identity. To use the User Assigned Manage Identity, navigate to the User Assigned tab. Click Add. Find and select your User Assigned Manage Identity. Add. User Assigned Manage Identity successfully added to the virtual machine. Follow the process used to create the User Assigned Manage Identity to create a storage account. While creating in the Advanced tab, select Default to Microsoft Entry Authorization in the Azure portal. After we create the storage account and deploy it to our resource group, click Go to Resource to navigate to the storage account page. In the left pane, click Containers under Data Storage. Create a new container. For this demonstration, we will upload a test file or blob on the container page that we will access in SnapLogic. This upload is not a required action but is meant to verify that the SnapLogic file reader can access container data. You can use any file stored in your container to verify. Navigate back to the storage account resource page to allow your managed identity to contribute data to the storage blob. To do this, navigate to Access Control IAM. In the Access Control page, click Add, Add Role Assignment. In the Role tab, find and select Storage Blob Data Contributor. Next, in the Members tab, select Manage Identity in the Assign Access to field. 
add select members in the members field. In the manage identity field, add the required manage identity. To use the user assigned manage identity, select the user assigned manage identity. For this video, we will select system assigned manage identity. Choose the virtual machine created earlier. Select. Your virtual machine appears in the members field. Review plus assign. Again, review plus assign. Selected manage identity added successfully as a data contributor for the storage account. And we have learned how to configure manage identities in the Azure portal. Thanks for watching.